Hi, and welcome to the section on networking on AWS. In this section, we will explain how to define the IP address block for your virtual private cloud, also known as a VPC. We will start by explaining CIDR notation, which IP addresses are available for to use for your VPC, and then the three types of IP addresses on AWS, public, private, and elastic. Next, we will discuss dividing your VPC into one or more subnets. And finally, defining routes for your network traffic in route tables. Now let's move on to the first video in this section, Classless Interdomain Routing. When you work with VPCs, subnets, security groups, and network access control lists, you will often need to specify IP address ranges. Classless Interdomain Routing, CIDR, provides a succinct method known as CIDR notation for defining IP address blocks. In this video, we're going to briefly explain CIDR notation and then review the valid IP address ranges that you can use when defining your VPC and subnets. We'll also discuss IP addresses that are reserved by AWS and why this is important when you're sizing your subnets. VPCs on AWS use version 4 of the Internet Protocol, known as IPv4. There is no current support for the more recent version, known as IPv6. An IPv4 address is defined using 32 bits, broken up into four parts. Each part is 8 bits, and so their values range from 0 to 255. So an IP address can be anywhere from 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255. This means the total number of IP addresses available globally is 2 to the 32 power or 4,294,967,255. So basically just under 4.3 billion. CIDR notation makes it easy to specify a range of IP addresses by appending a slash and the number of fixed bits from 0 to 32 after the address. It is easiest to explain this by example. For a single IP address, we need to provide all 32 bits. So an example of a single IP would be 192 dot 168 dot 55 dot 31 slash 32. If instead we wanted to define a range of IP addresses we would use a number less than 32 for the prefix length. When we use a slash 24 for example we are saying that the first 24 bits are fixed and the remaining 8 bits are unspecified. This would give us an IP address block consisting of 256 addresses. For a slash 16, there would be 32 minus 16, which equals 16 unspecified bits, and so represents 65,536 addresses. For a final example, a slash 20 would leave 12 bits unspecified, or 4,096 addresses. At the bottom of the slide is a link to one of the many online calculators that will convert CIDR notation to the starting and ending IP addresses. For VPCs, we need to specify private IP address blocks. The Internet Assigned Numbers Authority has reserved certain IP address ranges to be used for private IPs. So the CIDR blocks for your VPCs need to fit into these ranges. On AWS, VPCs can be made as small as slash 28, which is 16 addresses, all the way up to a slash 16, which is 65,536 addresses. However, think twice before you create a VPC as small as a slash 28. You will have to create at least one subnet in your VPC, and for every subnet in your VPC, five addresses are reserved by AWS. These are the first four and last one in the subnet block. So that leaves only 11 IP addresses for your slash 28 VPC. This completes our discussion of CIDR notation.